Welcome to Everyday Wines. I'm Carolyn Evans Hammond here to remind you, you don't need to spend a lot to get a great tasting wine. You just need to know which bottle to buy. Now, before we get started, take a moment to subscribe and hit that bell on your screen to get notified each time a new episode is released so you can drink better and save money. Today's wine is perfect for grilled meat lovers. What's more, it's widely available, undervalued, and everything you want in an everyday wine. The wine I'm sharing with you today is the 2017 Carnivore Zinfandel from California. Carnivore Zinfandel is a gem of a wine that's perfect for grilled meats, and here's why. When you grill meat, you aim for that tender, juicy center and deliciously deep, dark exterior. Those caramelized meat juices that form a dark sear are chock full of flavor. It's a holy grail of grilling. You want a flavorful wine to match, and that's where Carnivore Zinfandel comes in. It's made for the job. Carnivore Zinfandel is a bold, beefy wine that's ripe and rich and swirls with flavors that complement grilled meat beautifully. More on that in a moment, but a bit about Zinfandel in general because it has an interesting history. Zinfandel is distinctly Californian and has been growing there since the 1850s but the grape's DNA shows it's genetically identical to an ancient and almost extinct grape variety in Croatia. But today, Zinfandel is clearly Californian, and it grows particularly well in Lodi, where most of the fruit for this wine comes from. And it's an excellent, consistent expression of Californian Zinfandel at a reasonable price. It sells for less than $10 in the US and just shy of 18 in Canada. So let's taste. In the glass, it's almost black in the center and it tapers to a very narrow purple rim. That purple color is classic for Zinfandel. And this has a dash of uh, Cabernet Sauvignon in it too, which is also a deeply colored grape variety. So that's contributing to the depth of color. On the nose, so jammy. Blackberry jam, black cherry jam, and hints of vanilla and toasted almonds from the oak treatment. Let's see if that echoes on the palate. Mmm, a rush of full flavor, very saturated. Great purity. Again, lots of black fruit. So you're getting black cherry, blackberry, and very jammy, very, you know, ripe, ripe fruit. This is a beautiful full-bodied wine and it's got all that flavor that's gonna stand up to grilled meats. It also lingers. There's still, you know, flavor on the finish. It's still there. This is dry, this is very full bodied at 14.5% alcohol. So let's taste and see what else we can see. Mm. Just so perfect. Because it's got some oak, you're also getting the vanilla nuances and the spice and the toasted nut. And that also is going to season the palate and be perfect for your next bite of grilled meats. So these are three great ideas for grilled meats to go with this carnivore wine. Starting with grilled steak, dead easy, get a good char going and you're golden. Or for the backyard barbecue classic, burgers. Grilled burgers, couple of slices of tomato, some lettuce, and let the wine take the place of the condiments to season the palate. Or of course, sausage. 
This is Borovores, which is that classic South African sausage. It's amazing with this wine. So these are three great pairings that go with this wine. What's your go-to wine for grilled meats? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm coming right back with more great everyday wines where you learn how to drink better and spend less.